Okay, welcome to this uh, PHP tutorial. Um, this series is going to be a so, uh, sort of small extension to my previous user system, user login, registration thingy system tutorial. Um, all we're going to do in this series is add this remember me box. Uh, and you will probably have seen this on websites. Um, basically what it does is when you tick this box, the next time you come to the site you'll be logged in automatically. Um, it does the, it works by setting a cookie with your username and password, encrypted password. Um, important point here is that um, the cookie cookies are not a secure storage location like the session. Um, the user can directly change the value of the cookie and directly get the value of the cookie. Um, so you shouldn't store like the plain text password or any user user sensitive information in cookies. Um, you also shouldn't trust this information. For this reason, we we will be checking the um, be checking the uh, we won't just be assuming that because the cookie is set, the user is logged in because simply the user could change their cookie to like logged in equals one or however that could work. Um, so we'll be checking the um, credentials using the function we made in the previous part. Um, so yeah, uh, basically, if you don't, if you haven't followed this user system tutorial already, you need to go back and watch the sort of first tutorial from this code anyway. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the introduction. It works in the exact same way as before. Um, if you log in with the username test and the password test, which is filled in automatically, we'll get logged in. We get you are logged in as test, and to get this logout page, logout link even. When you click that, you get logged back out. Um, without that ticked, it'll be it'll work in the same way as before. It'll just set a session, and the cookie stuff will be completely ignored. Um, we're only going to be modifying four of the files: uh, login, logout, init and the library file. Small modification needs to be done to that for it to work. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, um, I could quickly say I'm doing this video just because it was requested. This isn't normally something I do because people's browsers remembers their, remember their passwords so usually it's just sort of not a particular problem for them just to click the login button. Um, so yeah, uh, that's it. Join me in the part one video um, where I'll explain the modifications we're going to make and show you what needs changing. Okay, so thank you for watching.